Today I'm going skating at the outdoor rink with a couple of friends. It's the very first skate of this winter, which is my favorite thing to do. And for some reason, I feel like it always marks the start of the festive season. It's like, okay, we went skating. That means it's holiday time, Amanda Claus time, and we're just sending till Christmas. But um, I actually wasn't sure whether they were going to be opening the rink this year. What they're doing is that they're actually limiting the amount of people who can go on the rink and you have to pre-register. So at least it's like outdoor, so we'll be like spaced out and everything, obviously wearing masks. So that'll be fun. I just took a shower and I'm gonna do my makeup really quickly and then we'll get ready and go. We chose an earlier time for the rink because hopefully that means there'll be less people there. This whole week actually is gonna be pretty festive and holiday themed. I'm just gonna finish getting ready and doing my hair and then I will get back to you. I finished my makeup. Recently, I've been loving using this thing. It's just like a blow drying wand. It's all over TikTok and then TikTok convinced me to get it and I actually love it. So everyone who's been asking me how I've been doing my hair lately, it's literally just this guy. All right, so I'm pretty much done getting ready, but there is one thing that I do every day. It's the final step of my getting ready routine, which is deodorant. I really wanted to talk about it because recently I made the switch to native deodorant. They did sponsor this video, but I actually have been loving it. You guys might be like, Amanda, why are you talking about a deodorant? What makes it so special? But if you haven't heard of native deodorant before, it's made with ingredients that you can actually like read and understand and are familiar like coconut oil and shea butter. It's paraben free, sulfate free, aluminum free. But one of the main reasons why I've been loving it and why I switched over recently is because they came out with plastic free packaging. It's 0% plastic as you can see it's just made from this like paperboard cardboard type of material. Deodorant is one of those things where you use it regularly so you end up going through so many in your lifetime and that's a lot of plastic that adds up throughout all of the people in the world who are deodorant users. So I know a lot of people including myself have been trying to reduce the amount of single-use plastics they use and this is just a great alternative and it's just a awesome little deodorant and also just feeling good about what you're putting on your body it's vegan cruelty free the texture is not sticky at all and it dries really really quickly and my favorite part is the scents that they come in they come in so many different scents my personal favorite for daily use is the citrus and herbal musk it just smells like kind of fresh, citrusy with a little something spicy. It also recently came out with a holiday collection which is kind of perfect for this video. So this one is candy cane and it's like a, a very subtle, light, fresh peppermint. So I think I'm gonna rock this one today for a little holiday festivity over here. <laughs> if you guys want to try out Native's plastic-free deodorant for yourself, you guys can click the link in my description box below. Usually three of the plastic-free deodorants are $39, but if you use my link and coupon code, you'll get them for $29, so that's 25% off. Thank you again to Native for sponsoring today's video and for keeping me smelling good over here. I just changed. This is my outfit for today. I wanted to wear something like layered in case I get kind of warm. So I'm just wearing this like cardigan with the turtleneck. For these pants, they're like these fake leather pants. And I know it seems like a very questionable choice to wear so like fake leather for something that's semi-active, but I'm not even joking. They're like the most comfortable pants ever. They're really flexible and stretchy. So they're actually kind of a good choice and they're also warm. So I got these from Aritzia and they fit me super well.
I am ready. Let's go skating. Guys, the teddy bears are back. These are my skate guards. All right, we made skating. This is Mapham. We've been friends since middle school. Yeah, we're on the ice and it's really, really empty as you can see. <laughs> Mapham's a little bit of a beginner. So I promised her I would teach her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're taking really small steps. Okay. So I think you need to bend your knees a little bit more. Okay, okay. And then like when you're, when you push, push. don't like stop your, yourself because you're okay. taking steps like, like normal right humans. immediately after. <laughs> You're going a bit faster, actually. Yes. My goal is to teach Mapham to skate more. So we're gonna come here really often. I mean, You're already better, actually, like from when you first got on. Okay, we can do this. Yeah, you're like gliding a little bit. Oh, I love skating. It's very relaxing. I can't tell whether this is cute or whether I look like I'm in kindergarten, but we're gonna go with it anyway. Here's the plan for today. I'm a little bit too lazy this year to put up my big Christmas tree that I always put up in my apartment. One, because it's super heavy. It's all the way downstairs in my storage unit and I would have to bring it all the way up and putting it together by myself is really a hassle. And then number two, I don't know, this year Christmas feels a little bit different because nobody's gonna be coming over to my apartment due to COVID-19 lockdown here in Toronto. So, I mean, I like decorating for myself too, but also sometimes the fun of having a Christmas tree is like the festive vibes when friends come over and stuff like that. But that won't be happening this year. So my plan is to go out and get a few smaller Christmas decorations that are maybe easier to put up around my apartment. At least I can still feel those Amanda Claus vibes without having to pull a muscle. So maybe we can get a mini Christmas tree or something. Um, and maybe, I don't know, some other things to put around. I'm gonna try to keep it pretty minimal though, so that's the plan for today. All right, it's winter, so I put on my winter gear. I have a hat and my puffy coat. I feel like a marshmallow a little bit, but let's go. Oh my god, <laughs> guys, things escalated so much since I last vlogged in the store. I got everything fine, it was all right, it was all good. So after I bought everything and I checked out, I decided to Uber home just because obviously I had a tree to carry, a lot of other things, and there's no way I would have been able to walk home carrying all of that stuff. So I called an Uber, got in, and I was listening to music before, so I had two like wireless earbuds in, and then whenever I'm with someone, whether it's like an Uber driver or if I'm talking to a worker at a store or something, I'll always take one earbud out and then put it in my pocket. So I did that when I was in the Uber just so I could talk to the person and like hear what they're saying, obviously. And then when I got home, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do some laundry. I'm gonna change. The bottom of my pants got a little bit dirty because it was uh, kind of snowy outside on the ground. So I was like, you know what? I need to do laundry anyways. Threw everything in the wash and including my pants, which is why I have different pants on. As soon as I hit start on that washing machine, I had like a That's So Raven flashback to the moment where I put that earbud in my pants pocket 
It was like a slow motion war scene where the washer had already started with the water. I could see the pants in there and I could imagine the little earbud just bouncing around in there. I managed to figure out how to cancel the washing machine. Obviously it had already started so there was a bunch of water already. I don't know if they're still alive. Currently they're in that bowl right there with a bunch of rice. We'll see if they end up still working after. But yeah, it was a very chaotic 20 minute sequence. <laughs> Why am I like this? Hello, so it's a new day and I finally have some time to put up those Christmas decorations that we got earlier in the week. So I'm gonna do that, give this apartment a little bit of Amanda Claus festive spirit because right now there's absolutely none. I'm actually really glad that I got that smaller Christmas tree because I just realized usually I put the big Christmas tree in the center of my apartment but you guys know that recently I rearranged my apartment, got a new office space so I don't think the big tree would have even worked in this space anymore. Um, the new one that I have is four four feet I think and then the old one was like six or seven foot I can't remember so yeah we have a little baby Amanda Claus tree which is okay you know bigger doesn't always mean better I feel like now we can focus our efforts on this smaller surface area and make it look extra chef's kiss let's get decorating I'm gonna throw on some Christmas music and start let's do it also I decided to whip out the red headband today I feel like it adds a little bit of Christmas vibes to my outfit without having to wear the Amanda Claus hat. All right, please excuse all this stuff But as I mentioned the tree used to go here. It has been taken up by a lot of other things So obviously we can't put the small tree here anymore um, So I'm thinking I'm just gonna make a little cute Christmas corner here And I think it'll be extra cute because then my vinyl my record player is right there So I can like play music have a mini tree little Christmas corner it'll be kind of cute. So that's the plan right now. Guys, look at him. <laughs> so cute. I didn't realize that it actually came with a pot, which kind of makes it look even better in my opinion. I think it's meant to be like an outdoor tree or something like that. What should we name him? or her. <laughs> I feel like he deserves a name because he's so cute and small. Look, there's like little berries and everything too. It's so fun and festive. I love it. I tried to spread out the branches as much as I could so that she could look tick, but uh, now it's time to put on some ornaments. This year I wanted to go for a like rustic woodland vibe, maybe theme on the tree. So I got some little brown ornaments, some pine cones and stuff to hang on the tree. I got little like a little squirrel holding a, a nut. I thought I liked the color palette. And then to go along with that too, an acorn. This one's really like pretty and sparkly. And then the other two that I got were, this, these are just like a pair of mittens that you just hang. And then a little sheep, a little lamb. So I thought these could just be a nice accents amongst the smaller balls. And then I've of course got some like natural colored ribbon to wrap around it. Luckily it's already pre-lit so I don't need to deal with the lights or anything. All right guys, I think I'm done. I, there's kind of no more space. I'm pretty sure I hung something on every single branch, but that literally took me like 20 minutes. Whereas in the past when I decorated my trees, it would take me like an hour. Also the positive part about decorating a smaller tree is that you actually have the energy to decorate the back of the tree. So yes, my tree is 360 degrees decorated. Woo! <laughs> now the only part left we have is the tree topper. 
And in true Amanda Claus spirit, of course. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Yay! It's kind of late right now. I had dinner a couple hours ago and now I'm feeling like having a little snack. And I think I'm gonna make some hot chocolate because it's winter and what else do you drink during winter other than hot chocolate? And I wanted to show you guys my special recipe for hot chocolate because I personally am lactose intolerant but also I just don't like having dairy in general. So this is oat milk hot chocolate ladies and gentlemen it is so good so creamy so delicious and doesn't give me a stomach ache after so that's a plus i go all out with hot chocolate it's a very serious matter so we're gonna do whipped cream toppings all of the things That is what one would call a perfect cup of hot chocolate. Cheers! That is the stuff. It's so good. It's just so like creamy, chocolatey, not too sweet, which I don't really like overly sweet things. And then like the whipped cream, it's coconut whipped cream, so it's dairy free. And it's just a chef's kiss. All right, I'm gonna go finish my hot chocolate, maybe watch a Christmas movie or something. I'll probably watch the holiday just because I watch the holiday every single Christmas. So I'm due for my annual the holiday watch. It is a top tier rom-com in my opinion. And uh, yeah. Ugh. All right, so I have my guitar here because last year when I did my holiday vlog, I did a cute little Christmas song cover at the end and a lot of you guys really liked it. I'm really not a singer by any means. I just like to post snippets of covers here and there. I just do music for fun and I like to play ukulele and guitar. Guitar I'm not as good at, but I've been practicing. But actually before we do that, let me just end off the video first with the Amanda Claus giveaway. So. I don't want to ruin my headband, so I'm just going to place this nicely on my hair, <laughs> on my head. Um, yes. I, oh god, this is not going to work. Oh, there we go. Please excuse the hat placement. I don't have enough real estate on my head for both a headband and a hat. <laughs> for today's Amanda Claus giveaway, I'm going to be giving away four different sets of the Kuretake dot markers. I did a video with these. It was one of my most recent stationery hauls. They're great. I love them. And you'll also be winning a signed Shop Amanda H. Lee dotted notebook. These are the dotted notebooks that I use in my bullet journals. And it's also the notebook that I'm going to be using for 2021. Um, plus, you'll be winning one Shop Amanda H. Lee washi tape set. So if you guys want to enter to win this little prize pack, all of the details will be in the description box below. Uh, just a reminder that we're doing a bunch of Shop Amanda H. Lee separate giveaways on our Instagram, so if you want chances to win other stuff, then go check us out there. It's blue, memories start calling, you'll be doing alright with your, your Christmas of I'm 
messed up a bit, but happy holidays, Merry Christmas.